Welcome to another math video. Today we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. And we've got an example where two lines are intersecting. And we don't know if they're intersecting at a 90 degree angle or if they're parallel or if they're neither. And we have to justify our answer. That's what it's asking for us to do. So what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick some really convenient points on both lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna designate one as L1 and I'm gonna de designate the other one as L2. So we've got line one and line two and some convenient points are right here. Let's call that point A and point A is a negative 3 comma negative 4 so negative 3 comma negative 4 and then I see another convenient point on L1 let's call it B and point B is negative 2 comma negative 1 so negative 2 comma negative 1 then with a different color I'm going to designate some uh, convenient points for line 2 I see one over here so let's call that C, that is negative six comma negative three. So negative six comma negative three. And then I could use A if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go way over here and I'm gonna choose point D. Point D is zero comma negative five, zero comma negative five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and figure out the slopes of line one and I'm gonna figure out the slope of line two and we're gonna compare the two and we'll figure out if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Spoiler alert, they're probably not parallel. Let's try this out. So for slope of line one, we're gonna take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and I'm going to designate point B as like the Y2 and the X2. So I'm going to go negative 1 and then A. And I'm going to look at, so the Y value for A is negative 4. Okay, so negative 1 minus negative 4 over. And then let's look at the X values. The X value for B is negative 2. So negative two minus, and then for A is negative three. Negative three, holy guacamole, that is a buttload of negative signs. Negative one minus negative four. So negative one plus four is three. And then negative two minus negative three. Negative two plus three is one. So the slope of line one looks like it's three well yeah it does look like it's three we go up three and over one okay no problem let's try the slope for line two so the slope for line two this one's a little bit easier for me so i'm going to choose point d as my point two so i'm going to go negative six minus sorry that should be negative five minus negative three and then our x values, six minus negative six. So that's a zero. Zero minus negative six. So negative five plus three is negative two. And then zero minus negative six is positive six. And we can reduce that to negative one over three. Okay, so we now have our slopes. We know the slope for line one is three over one and the slope for line two is negative one over three. Well, that sure looks like they're negative reciprocals. One of these two is negative, this one's negative, and they're reciprocals of each other. So because the slopes are negative reciprocals d 
these lines are perpendicular. Perfect.